everyone welcome back to amazing women's world if you are watching for the first time please hit the subscribe button to watch latest videos of fashions and trends also tap the bell button for future notifications so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos appreciated for subscribing in this video i'll be showing the perfect joining of the sleeve to the bodies this was the most basic problem faced by the beginner after watching this video i hope you won't make any mistakes these are all initial hurdles let's know how to solve this problem i hope you understand the concept of body sloper and the normal sleeve draft pattern if you are enough confident with these two you can easily sort out the basic problem of joining the sleeve and if you are new and you haven't watched it please do watch and learn the drafting of these the links of these two videos are in front of your screen please check out transforming these measurements on the fabric i've trimmed according to the same measurements now you can see i've aligned the bodies of front and back and this is the three-fourth length of normal sleeve Let's give center notch on the sleeve. Align the sleeve with the bodice placing right on right. The notch should be overlapped with the shoulder joining. Place right side of the sleeve on the right side of the bodice. Let's these two intersect like this. And I am showing this for the beginners. So let's secure with the pin. If you are enough confident just sew it as it is. See the notch should match with the center joining of the shoulder. As the sleeve and the bodice is having curved cuttings, so it's comfortable to secure with the pins for easy sewing. There are so many ways to join the sleeves. I would prefer to join from the center. With quarter inch seaming element start sewing and also unpin when you are sewing it. Ensure the underneath fabric is well settled when you are sewing. Reaching to the end, double lock it. Again start from the center. Sew it till another end. I've joined the sleeve with the bodies. Now I'll be joining the sides. I've given one in seaming elements, so mark the same on the sleeve also. On this marked line, I'll be giving the stitch line. So let's start with the sleeve openings. Place it like this. Start joining the sides. Reaching near the armpit, let the seaming allowances should be turned towards bodies and continue sewing till it reaches to the hip length. As I am preparing for the kurti, so I will be sewing till the hip length. This is how it looks towards wrong side and 
towards pretty side under the armpit you can see here clearly there is no incorrect joining of the sleeve with the bodice see the perfect joining i hope the joining concept is clear to you now i'll show you how to avoid the making mistakes of marking or incorrect marking so i got so many requests of showing the pics like this i have rounded up you can see there the incorrect joining I will show you how to avoid that mistake. Watching this video next time, I'd be hoping that you won't do this mistake again. This was the transformed measurements of the body slope and the normal sleeve draft pattern. Please be familiar with these two patterns. If you see the bodies, the joinings we'll make under the armpit here and the shoulder joining with the sleeve here. Now you should clearly understand that we should not make any changes near these joinings the changes for the front panel the deep curve will make only in the center or the midpoint of the armhole length mark the midpoint of the armpit and i'd be using this french curve tip it should touch the shoulder line connecting the midpoint of the armhole length now from this midpoint of the armhole length we'll be connecting that to the this armpit joining now if you clearly observe here, I haven't made the change near this joining of the armpit. You can see here the front and the back panel is coinciding. And if you observe here near the shoulder line, here also both the front and back panels will coincide. If you give the perfect markings like this, then you won't get any mistakes when you join the sleeve with the body. See I'm trimming off the extra portion. For the fence sleeve without any changes near the shoulder joining or the armpit. Changes I made near the midpoint of the armhole length. The same you have to follow for the sleeve also. You should not make any changes near the shoulder joining and the sleeve joining near the armpit. The changes you are making in the midpoint of the armhole length see the dark markings indicates the joinings of the shoulder and the armpit if you clearly observe i haven't made the change near the armpit joining neither on the shoulder joining Now if we align these joinings with the bodies, you won't get any differences. This is the major thing where every big will face the problem and sometimes they feel frustrated. Even though if we give the correct markings, we are getting the incorrect joinings. If you keenly observe the, the markings and cuttings where we have to do it correctly, then you will never face this problem again. I hope this video is useful to you all. Please like for more videos. Leave your valuable comments and suggestions in the comment section. Stay tuned to watch more. Thank you so much for watching. This is Radha Fashion Design signing off. Love you all. Bye for now.